I recognize the Honourable Member for Cape Breton Centre, Whitney Pier. Madam Speaker, my question is for the Minister of Community Services. As the Minister has recognized, a refusal to index the income assistance rate ultimately results in a decrease in the, in the spending power of recipients. Can the Minister please explain why he is choosing to continue the pattern of decreasing the spending power of those on income assistance? I recognize the Honourable Minister for Community Services. I want to thank the uh, member for the question. What I will say is that year-over-year year indexing is usually about $10, $15, $20. This is what people are getting in their pockets. And what we decided was it was better to put a lump sum in people's pockets alone. We put $150 in everyone's pockets as of next month. And the other thing I will say, Madam Speaker, in the five years that the NDP were in power, they, they put $15, that's how much they increased, $15 over five years, which is $3 a month, which is one cent a day. I did more in 24 hours than they did in five years. Order. I recognize the honorable member for Cape Breton Centre, Whitney Pierre. Madam Speaker. <laughs> $150 one-time payment for income assistance clients will not go far. One recent report found that for the average family, monthly grocery costs went up by $130 last year alone. Yesterday's announcement barely covers the one-year one-month cost increase that families are facing, and I will table that. Does the minister really think $150 is enough? I recognize the Honourable Minister for Community Services. I understand the confusion, Madam Speaker, for somebody making $89,000 a year, right? So she may not think $150 is much, Madam Speaker, but for people on income assistance, it is a sizable amount of money. And what I will say to the people on income assistance, we are going to continue to work. We are going to continue to work with our stakeholders, all levels of government. More is on the way. Yeah.